Welcome to your go-to podcast for the pool and spa industry. My name is Tyler Rasmussen. And my name is Greg Diafania. And this is the Pool Chasers Podcast. What's going on, guys? It's been an incredible year of pool chasers all wrapped up. Oh, speaking of wrapped up, we all wore <laughs> special sweaters, special ugly sweaters. sweaters. Mine is uh, the gangsta rapper. Got Santa Claus with shades on. And Ty, <laughs> we don't know. What do you got going on? Oh, man, here? I got a snowman. He's got a blow dryer in his hand, melting another snowman. Oh, he's got my through. hat with uh, the fire burning. Dude, that thing is legit. When you busted that out, I got jealous real quick, especially since I bought us all Santa hats and you just busted out some TV LED screen on top of your head. Like, dude, what the heck? Man. It's pretty awesome. My sweater's got a, it's got a sloth with some downhill skis on it. I love it. It's pretty dope. It's the cutest sloth I've ever seen. I know. He's Because nice. I'm thinking about the one that Odyssey is not so cute. He's no. kind of scary looking, A little actually. bit. <laughs> So, hey, we're here um, at Pine, probably about, what, 45 minutes away from home, back in Scottsdale. And uh, we... No? <laughs> an hour and 45. Hour and 40. Well, hey, it was pouring rain, <laughs> and I drive like an old grandpa. And, uh, yeah, for a normal person, it could be maybe 45 Maybe, minutes. maybe. Not me. But, anyway, uh, we brought the Airstream, which is a new addition to the uh, Pool Chasers podcast family. Yes. And we got here... Uh, I'm not going to lie. We ran into some situations, which we uh, at time tend to do <laughs> run into situations. We got to our cabin. We kind of got dedicated for this event and the uh, driveway was insanely steep. Yes. Didn't think about that. Too steep for a trailer. But we got homies in the mountains. We do. So we Ty do. hit up his homie and they have a cabin. So we're here and uh, we set up camp and got it all rigged up. We got a Christmas tree, got a little Merry Christmas uh, light sign, whatever this thing is. It was a pain in the ass, busting it out of the box. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's all decked out and super excited to be doing this fun Christmas episode with you yeah. guys. Yes. Just thought we'd do something fun and different, man. Not too much pool talk on this one, but get to know us a little bit better, have some fun. I think almost not at all. No. Unless there is... Swimming pool scenes and in some the of movies. the movies we're about to talk about. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just going to have some fun. We're going to list uh, some of our favorite Christmas movies. And we're not 100% sure where this is going to go. But <laughs> we have set some rules. And we're going to start with Christmas movies. And we're going to list five of our favorites. And we're going to start with number five. So why don't you kick it off, Ty? All right. So my number five is I'll Be Home for Christmas with Jonathan Taylor Thomas and... It's probably not one that's super popular with a lot of people, but we used to watch it a lot when I was a kid. It's really funny when he gets left at, he gets, his dad gets him a Christmas car and he's got to get home for Christmas in time and his buddies mess with him, put him out in the desert in a Santa suit, glue his hat on. He's got to get back home to get his car. But it's, man, it's super funny. Lots of cool scenes in that movie. You probably, probably don't know too much about that one. But. I can't quite remember, but I'm not going to lie. Like kind of hated on Jonathan Taylor Thomas a little bit. When we were younger, because he was cool in Home Improvement, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure like every chick that you try to talk to or every girl you try to talk to when you were oh, yeah. at that age was like in love, like open up the locker. There's Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> Go to their house. Boom. Posters everywhere. Like you can't get away from this dude. So and I got to watch this VHS tape in the closet. You know, nobody sees me. <laughs> and the star in that, the girl star in the movie is Jessica Biel. So he gets to, oh, know, for real? get to be with Jessica Biel. So maybe I need to watch the movie. Oh yeah. That's what we're doing after do this. Like, we're watching like 15 different movies. <laughs> <laughs> we're watching every single it's a marathon one yeah <laughs> we have to watch all of these now yeah my favorite scene though is like the, the the cop in the movie has to go to this like diner and sing to his his wife to get her back it's, it's awesome you have to can check you it out. can you sing it i will let's see he says <laughs> oh marjorie oh baby <laughs> I'll Dude, make love good. to I you, you were about to get into on the it. velvet skirt. Oh, of Kyle, the did you bring your uh, guitar? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't bring it. It's at home. That's it. Then he gets down on one knee, like it. Dude, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, pretty what? funny one. Why'd you pick that one? I mean, it was just like that was a hit. Yeah, Everybody man, in your right. family liked that. Yeah, one? we used to watch it a lot. Probably because of is that who during was in the it? VHS days? I mean, that's like the Seventh Heaven days too. So like that's Jessica Biel right after Seventh Heaven. So. 
It's probably part no of comment. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you got, Kyle? What's your number five? My number five would be uh, the Christmas Carol, but with the Muppets. The Muppets. Yep. So Jim Henson and all of his Muppeteering glory. I think it's just the same story. There's nothing too crazy about it that really changes to make it the Muppets. But if you remember watching the Muppet show growing up, there was those two old men that were (laughs) up in the top (laughs) and they were always like making fun of people and like cracking jokes. Well, they're like the door knockers (laughs) on on the door. Oh yeah, they are. And it's just like, it's really (laughs) funny. I don't know. There's just a couple of those scenes that just kind of get you. Dude, that one is legit. It's a, and I think it has a lot to do with the Muppets voices because when I think of that movie, I just think of like Kermit the Frog, like Mr. Scrooge, <laughs> yeah. can we have Christmas Eve off? That's like, pretty is, good. Is that the, is it? Yeah, that's it. He wants Christmas Day off, oh, but yeah, he doesn't yeah, want to yeah, give yeah. it to him. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> Dude, it's that one actor too, now that I think about it, that plays Scrooge. Yeah, he does the a really good British job. British guy. Yep. Oh, it's uh, Alfred. Mm-hmm. It's Alfred? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> From Batman? Isn't it? But he has yeah, long think... hair and Scrooge. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. I could be wrong, yeah, I but could I'm be wrong. pretty sure. But I think you're right. So, <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I've probably only seen like one time, so. It's... But I get why you like it. I have younger it's siblings who used to watch it all the time, so. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you learn to love things that are funny, so. I dig it. So. I'm going to hop in here with my number five, and it's um, it's a, something a little bit different. I don't think a lot of people would think that I would kind of bring to the table, but it's uh, A Preacher's Wife, hmm. starring hmm. Denzel. Denzel Washington and Whitney Houston. And I actually really like this movie because, you know, you have the orphan kid in it, and he has to go away, and all these different things happen, and Denzel Washington comes down like, Boom! Right in the snow, he's making snow angels, super stoked to be on one of his first missions on planet Earth, and he just hits the ground running. He's going to put this family back together. Bunch of stuff. There's a part where he eats burning hot pizza, burns his mouth, and uh, (laughs) uh, people don't understand why I would like that as much, because I'm just a fat kid that likes any (laughs) pizza scene in a movie. We could just take that out, but... um, yeah, so that's my number five. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming because nobody's saying anything, you guys have not seen that or even remember anything seen from it. it. I've seen it. Very, it's been a very long time, though. I, I don't remember <laughs> it very much, no. Yeah, well, well, that's why it's not on my list. I think. It's a good one. It's about Preacher's Wife. <laughs> <laughs> it, it actually should have been like that. The Preacher's Wife and Denzel. Yeah, it shouldn't be called. <laughs> but, no, that's a classic, man. It's a good one. A classic for me. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, let's jump into number All four, right. Ty. Get it. Number four for me is Jack Frost. Mm. It's the one where his dad passes away, comes back as a snowman. But it's, there's lots of really cool stuff in this movie, though, because he's like a rock star. So you got like he's rocking out with a snowman. And I know your like our favorite scene is like snowboard scene. Oh, hell Ooh. yeah. On repeat. The snowboard scene, man. <laughs> But it's a really good movie about, you know, just really good touchy-feely parts, you know, about the son and dad and kind of coming and making sure his kid is okay, come back to Earth. But That funny. movie is really cool, but it's super sad. A little bit sad. And if you watch it, like, these days, like, the, the special effects in that movie are terrible. Yes, they are. <laughs> like, they are out of this world bad. And, like, as an adult, I'm like, I wonder if it's because, like... It costs so much money to get Michael Keaton probably to, to be in this where they're like, well, we're going to have to cut budget. Well, instead <laughs> of, you know, filming this, you know, at Mammoth or, you know, at some, you know, resort, like we'll just, we'll just put do a green screen. My, my, my backyard is <laughs> yeah. got a really big hill in it. We'll just do it there. Say, like, call me when it snows. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll do it all over there. I know a guy. Yeah. The scene where he gets like, he gets like put into the, uh, what are those things called? Now, this is how I, I'm from California. The snowplow, like, mm. pushes him all the way through, and he, like, picks him up as a snowman and pushes him down. Like, that's part hilarious. Dude, that yes, kid the, with the, the spiky hair bad. is a real punk. <laughs> he is a punk. He's, like, throwing <laughs> snowballs at him, and he's, like, he's not the same since his old man died. And he's, like, well, he needs know, to get over it. Up. Never even met my old man. I know. <laughs> Dang, you remember the line more lines than me. <laughs> <laughs> that is, like, the epitome of a 90s movie. Oh, totally. Bad kid. 
Oh yeah, he was the bad kid. But he, <laughs> Sorry, came, the snowman, he came around. The snowman he nails him with like a million snowballs. So the the spiky hair kid he... helped get uh, the snowballs from the asphalt into this like moving truck because yeah. the moving truck I think was going to the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, or something. Right. Yeah, like apparently it was turning into summer. <laughs> summer all of a sudden, but the truck Man, was driving. You remember that, you remember more about that movie than I do, but it's definitely my number four for sure. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a, it's a like good it. one. <laughs> so for my number four. I couldn't narrow it down to just one. It's Grinch movies. Because every Christmas we had you to watch... You can't do that. Well, Cheater. they're, they're all gotta, the same storyline. You gotta pick a favorite. <laughs> sort of. Well, the no. Third, the third really one, he doesn't have a... The, there's no dad. Oh, well, yeah. Kind of okay, weird, so the second... Sure. So the one with Jim Carrey <laughs> is probably my favorite. Yes, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yes, that's... Yes. Good choice. That's the one. But we always still watch... Okay, if you're gonna pick the Grinch with Jim Carrey, you need to reenact... I want to. I need to hear a Grinch voice. I can't do a Grinch voice. I've, I've got more for other ones, but definitely not a Grinch. What's the matter with you? Some kind of animal or something? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Dude, that was That's hilarious. I, I do feel bad though, as a dog owner, the way the dog gets treated. It feels so horrible every time. I'm like, poor Max. Yeah, it's gonna the Grinch put... is more of a dog than the dog. The dog is looking yeah. at him like, "Dude, you a dirty mother." <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you look like you want here. me to. You want me to do what? Uh, <laughs> the best part is when he puts the antlers on his head and ties them on, and then he like sinks into the snow yeah. and has to cut like all the pieces <laughs> off, and that's just like a mohawk of a. It doesn't even really fit it's right. A one antler. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a J. <laughs> it doesn't even look right. Is it just me? Like. The Who's in Whoville, they just kind of freak me out a little bit. Yeah, they're kind of creepy the way they smile. It's really big. Yeah. <laughs> and the noses. It's just, or it little, little button noses, and they know the words to the songs that they all <laughs> sing together really well. Dude, well that I... one has the hot chick in it, too, though. Yeah. Uh, the other Grinches don't have the hot chick. Correct. Uh, correct. Uh, so that? Remember, she's like dressed up in that red Santa suit or something. The one that he's she's the mayor wants to be. She wants to be the, the she mayor. Wants to marry wants, the mayor. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. And then Grinch marry Grinch ends up marrying her, being with her. Mm-hmm. She has one of the most <laughs> legit scenes in that whole movie. Remember, so at the beginning when uh, Luhu's Cindy mom, Luhu. <laughs> Cindy Luhu's mom is like putting up the lights and it's just having a hard time. She's got OG staple gun, whatever. <laughs> but looks across the street and this chick's got like a bazooka. Oh, that's right, like machine like, gun. Do, 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 right. do, 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 <laughs> And she's like all nice Dude. about it, like hi, da da da. Yeah. Like I'm just gonna hang some Christmas lights real quick. And then she Dude, blows I it out. I forgot about that. <sighs> Dude, like oh. that is hilarious. <laughs> I also like it when he, um, when he's a little kid and he's all hairy. Oh, oh and yeah. He shaves yeah. and oh, like cuts so himself good. up really bad. <laughs> and he comes in the next day and he wears a brown paper bag on his face. Oh yeah. But he's made this like. It's really funny because we just saw one in in the cabinet. It's the vegetable steamer that you put in a pot (laughs) to steam vegetables. Well, he took one and made it into an angel, like a Christmas tree topper. Yep. And uh, now every time I see one of those metal steamer things, I just think of a Christmas tree topper. (laughs) Dude, that's hilarious. Yeah, the boys in that were mean too. It said, look at that hack job. (laughs) <laughs> and then that's when he just like you know gets full of rage. That's and when he turns into off. the Grinch. Is that that's... because his beard looks like your beard? Yeah, Is that why you like it. Yeah, I do. It's because <laughs> his he's little got kid a beard. beard looks like that. <laughs> but it's just totally crazy. Like this dude is green, mm. green dude. dude. And you know they're not an alien. And that dude becomes the mayor, right? <laughs> he doesn't wear pants. <laughs> Excuse me. He didn't. He didn't wear pants. He doesn't wear pants. No, none of the who's or just the Grinch? Just, just the Grinch. Grinch. No pants. But isn't there, is it part two it's too hairy when he covers everything up. He goes into his closet and he's got a closet I've of got nothing suits. to wear and he's just yeah. like throwing everything out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will say that I do like um, the soundtrack on uh, Grinch 2 because Tyler, the creator, you're a mean one. Do, 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 do. Uh, Mr. Yep. Grinch. Do, do, do. <laughs> That's as close as we one. can get. We That's can't. We can't one. put any music on here like that. Yeah, we'll get that shit ripped down real quick. <laughs> we can do movies, apparently. Yeah, apparently. no music. Music, <laughs> mm. not allowed. Okay, yeah. Greg. All what's right. What's your number four? My number four is gonna be Home Alone too. Mm. And this is a really special movie to me because the first time I saw it was, I lived in Bellflower at the time, and my uncle. Robert used to take me to see movies and maybe the batting cages or something. I was really young, but I remember 
this movie was awesome, but it was even more awesome to him. Like this was <laughs> a guy that was around me all the time and he was not like, I don't know, like super like fun all the time. Like he didn't make very many jokes or anything like that, but damn, he lost his <laughs> shit in the movie theater. I mean, he was crying, <laughs> laughing so hard. And I got a lot of joy from that. That's funny. And just following up after that, I mean, that's just such a awesome movie. Hey, if we ever were going to talk about swimming pools, that's probably one of the most famous swimming pool scenes is when he's at the hotel and uh -huh. his shorts come off uh -huh. and uh, the guy brings back the shorts to Macaulay Culkin's room <laughs> yep. and he's like, hey, don't flash these. There could be chicks on this floor. <laughs> And he's like, I was very careful, very careful sir. sir. Is that and they're like, they're like super starched, like yeah. they're like stiff. Yeah, they put so much starch. Yeah, that was pretty good, dude. Oh, that's God. hilarious. You want some tip? No, I got some tip from last time. Yeah. Okay, okay. You tip flashes like, the money. Fat wad. I want to know why, like, uh, his dad has such a fat wad of. I know, Cash. right? <laughs> okay. Like, damn. So we were actually talking about this the other day because we wanted to find out how he could afford to go to France one year in the first movie. Yeah. And in the second oh, yeah. year, they go to Florida. And it's like, how is he affording to take all these people on this trip? That massive house with all those Dude, people. there's over 20 people in that crew. They're rolling. Exactly. Yeah, deep. Exactly. So we looked, and it never says what he is, but it's more than likely that he is like a day trader or like a mm, stock, no, person stock person yeah. or like a, a, a high up executive. Oh, oh, for sure. Hmm. But they didn't yeah. have an answer because we looked all <laughs> over because we we're like, someone, I can't even afford that electric bill in that house, let, let alone like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking a pool builder. Mm, oh, there you go. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, they could probably pull it off. <laughs> Dude, that house though, legit. That is a very legit nice house. house. But did where, you where see did the they, garage? Where did they live again? Uh, I, re I we know. looked it up. I can't remember right now. Not Minnesota. No, that's no. grumpy old men. <laughs> yeah, that's grumpy old men. Is that a Christmas movie? I don't no, think so. No, it's kind of an always on movie. We had a hard time doing picking. That. I think there's a channel <laughs> that just plays grumpy old men over and over. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> No, I like the cre I credit card. You got it. Oh my god, that's my oh, favorite dude. man. Like the voiceover. Oh, that recorder oh, was hot recorder. when that movie came out. <laughs> did you guys have one? <laughs> I d I didn't. I had one. Woo! My parents hated me. <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> I was running around recording everything. My sister hated me. My brother. Uh, oh, I didn't hilarious. care. That was like I, a hot I loved Christmas it. toy. It was so much sure. fun. So Are you going to take out the trash it? pile? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then you can like slow it down when he pretends to be his dad with the credit card thing. It slows it down. He's like, "Yeah, credit card, you, you got, got it. it, you got it." <laughs> like, come on. If I had been on the other end of that phone, I'd be like, "This sounds like bullshit." With an extra mm, large bed, TV, <laughs> and, and one, one of those, those little refrigerators <laughs> you open with the key. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I love it. I'm trying to think of what else happens in this movie. I mean. I just find it a little ironic, but I know you got to do what you got to do in a movie, but it just so happens that Kevin gets lost again in New York <laughs> and the wet bandits just get out of prison. I know, they somehow get in, the, in New York. <laughs> he's like, what does that smell? It's fish. And he's like, no, it's money and it's fish. <laughs> anyway. So, now, we're, now we're the sticky bandits. But it just oh, yeah. so happens. You know how big and crazy New York is yeah. that- the wet bandits run into Kevin on the street. Hey, and they're not even that surprised. Like, <laughs> look who it is. Like, like almost like, hey, we ran into him like early. Like we're right. meeting up for dinner later. Yeah. And we just so happened to like <laughs> cross paths. And then I'll tell the, you. They got the creepy pigeon lady in the park. I was just about to say. <laughs> crazy pigeon lady always scared the shit oh, out of me. Oh, it scared me mm -hmm. so bad. Dude. She's so creepy. And I hate when like those kind of people in the movies, just like the first one, the dude with the shit wrapped around his hand. Oh, like yeah. Kevin is clearly trying to buy a toothbrush and this guy freaking slams his freaking hand on the table and looks at him I like, know, I know. like crazy. It's like... Who would not be scared? I'm not. I'm not paying for this toothbrush oh, either. I'm. Dude, I'm out so of here. Funny. <laughs> He's nope. like, like eh, shoplifter. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh yeah. That dude. Like, are you kidding me? That dude was like writing a ticket, and he leaves the scene to go like jet across the pond to get oh, Kevin. Man. So funny. So good. Good one. We're not here to you know 
you know, break down any of these movies like that, but there's just a few things there's that get funnier. There's it's there's a different type of comedy in these movies we grew up with where you're like, oh, that's funny because it's kind of silly. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm done unless you got more to say on Home Alone 2. Oh, it's just man, a great, talk, it's a great flick. Wait, yeah. so if you do remember Home Alone 2, I want to know which your favorite booby trap was. Man. I think that's the one where he. Are we going to save this for number one? Where he does a slime, right? Where he does a slime yeah. on the bar and he jumps and like slips. Oh, that's a good one. I like that one. The big, like he jumps. That's a good one. <laughs> he had that place legit. Yeah, I think I, my favorite booby trap on that one was the front door with the staple gun. Oh yeah, Ooh. the staple gun. Because good. he keeps he tur- pulling he tur- it. He turns around and hits his. He butt. keeps pulling it. <laughs> He does. He staples himself three times. <laughs> yeah, he gets. Once you learn up. after the first one, especially where it hit him. Well, and then ch- he staples his butt cheeks together, and then he falls down, and then it hits him in the nose. <laughs> oh, they try to get smart because the paint cans, and he's like, yeah, that's oh, four. Yeah, that's because four. he's trying to yep, remember from yep, the house. Yep. I'm like, dude, shit, you th- that kid's using what he has. Right. And of course, they go up the stairs. Boom. 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 Oh, and then I don't that know bar, what the hell the crowbar that was. Thing. I think it's a, <laughs> it's a piece of pipe. <laughs> yeah. It was a piece of lead pipe. To be real, I think though, it's a bio shield. I don't think like, he could have picked that this up. This is like an eight-year-old kid that was doing some... <laughs> it's like they had a lot of success with the first movie and said, yeah. you know what? We're going to step it up a notch. We're going to put this beam... <laughs> Like, how did he, that, that beam looked kind of heavy. How did, yeah, how did he rig heavy. that up? Paint cans? I get that. <laughs> I mean, those are heavy in itself. But anyway, let's move on to number three. <laughs> the home loans we could talk about for a long time. Oh, yeah. My number three. This is classic because this is like original Tyler and Greg. It's Bad Santa. Oh, no. Here it this is. is like really when <laughs> we first made each because it came out in 2003. So right when we first like met each other, and I think you had just started living with me, but we saw the movie in theaters. Funniest movie ever at that time, because it's it's so dirty and raunchy, and you're like it, sophomore in high school, so it's like all the dirty jokes. Oh, and dude. Like, <laughs> it's so funny. Man, and we then, used to we used to recite those lines like all oh, day dude. long between that and barbershop. I know all the time, and so so then we like got the DVD when it came out on DVD, and. Uh, Back then, they used to have like the you know regular version and the unrated version. I'm like, man, we should watch the unrated version. Oh my god, are you really going there right now? <laughs> I'm not gonna say the actual line, <laughs> but <laughs> well, there's a scene. There's a scene in the very beginning. This is gonna be explicit, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Better mark that right now. There's a scene in the very beginning when he's when he's walking out the mall. He's got his pants. He's got like items stuck in his pants. And in the regular movie, he asks him what's in his pants. He doesn't say anything. In the uncut version, he says the funniest thing ever. I'm not gonna say it, but, but you have to check it out if you haven't seen the unrated version because it's freaking hilarious. Dude, it's amazing, and I'm not you really You can put even two sure. and two together because, you know, he asked him what's in his pants. So you think about it, but it's freaking hilarious. And then we, we, I know, I remember that busting up laughing so hard with you because we were like, wait, wait, what did he say? That was not in the original movie. Rewind. And we watched it like freaking over well, and over. Well, it's really again. weird watching the original movie and seeing scenes like that where they're just like, the guy says something and he doesn't say anything. And it's I like, know. oh, this is whack. <laughs> it gets much funnier than this. <laughs> Have you ever? Do you ever watch that one, Kyle? Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> My favorite is when he gives him, gives him the present that he's made for him. He's like, "What is that?" He's like, "I made you a pickle." <laughs> he's like, "What?" He whittled him a pickle. Oh man, so random. There's so many it's, good lines. The so advent weird. calendar, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, he eats all the chocolate out of the advent calendar, feels bad for him, puts it back together with like random items, and he pulls it out, and he's like, "Oh, what'd you get?" He said, "I got a candy corn in this one." <laughs> Dude. And he says, well, they can't all be winners, can they? <laughs> like, can't all be winners now, can they? Oh, Dude, I love when he is so playing Santa, funny. though, when the kids are coming up, <laughs> and they're just sitting on his lap, and he's, they're just, one sneezes in his oh, face. Yeah. Achoo! I want, I don't give a shit what you want. <laughs> what do you say, what do you want, oh, snot dude. rag? You got a snot rag. <laughs> Hurry up, this isn't the DMV. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, there's so many good lines in that movie, man. And he's like, oh man, when there's like the sandwiches part. There's oh, some fixing, random fixing some ass sandwiches. scenes in that movie. <laughs> the sandwiches. Like, what is it with you and these sandwiches? <laughs> dude, I love when he's like, um, he's like, I got some orange juice for you. What's in it? <laughs> Oranges? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! But that dude, remember uh, the guy? That, I'm gonna say it, the F word, but 
like he just catch it, catches him up in the parking lot and he's like, hey, Al fucker. <laughs> and then he's just like, like he just gets like attacked oh, in right. the parking lot. That's right. And I think the, oh, the little kid, he's like, get off of Santa. Get out of here, little boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, he, and he like yells at him. He's like, El fucker. Oh. I'm like, what is going oh, yeah, on, man? So like, weird. this shit just went south. <laughs> Oh man, bad Santa. Dude, let's all just the say best. it. There's an insane amount of lines in that movie that we cannot say so right now. So many. Correct. But it is a the classic. hooker lines, so funny. Yeah, they're yeah, really check them out. Really <laughs> it's just a movie though, you know? It's just yeah. it's just uh it's just a movie. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's like Harry Potter, right? You know, it's like, you know, mom used to get mad but like like this isn't real. This is witchcraft. I'm like, it's a movie. <laughs> it's okay. How, I'm allowed Billy, to watch Billy Wizard Bob. of Oz. You know, eh? Billy Bob was awesome uh, in that movie, man. It's freaking hilarious. Dude, he's so good in that movie. It's so funny. I mean, let's be real. Is it really that difficult to play that? To play that? I mean, you can find a burnout <laughs> drunk. Yeah. I think he we pee. ran into like five on the way here. <laughs> he, he pees his pants. He's like, did you just piss yourself? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the little Jesus, elf Mary and Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't piss your pants. <laughs> oh man, dude. All right, we, got, we keep going. He's now, not going to say fuck in front of the kids. Uh, is, is he? he? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is, is that John Ritter? For us adults. <laughs> is that uh, John Ritter? All right, that's as that bad does as that it's going to get. I'm pretty sure it's John Ritter that pays that part. That plays like the mall guy, the owner. You know who John Ritter is, right? Yeah. Right? I sure? think it is. I think so. I could, I could just mess this whole thing up, but I don't know. Keep going. Yeah, Kevin Costner? <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Costner? It's Michael Keaton. He's Michael Keaton's in every movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some relation to it. <laughs> is that Tim Allen? <laughs> Macaulay Culkin? <laughs> oh, All right, Kyle, what's your number Number three? Which number three? Yeah, John Ritter. Sorry. Got it. Got it. John Got Ritter. It. Number three, Kyle. Number three is going to have to be Elf. Oh, so good. Elf. So many quotable lines. I don't want to go too far. It's just, I think <laughs> when he picks an answer, he's sitting in his dad's office and he's answering the phone for him and his dad doesn't know. <laughs> He goes, hello, this is Buddy Elf. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? <laughs> and like that was my uh, answering machine. Like, oh, was it? Pick up. Time. Like, oh, if you called dude. me and I didn't answer, that was that's so. Awesome. That's what it was every Buddy. time. <laughs> what's your the the food groups? And he's eating like pasta with sugar <laughs> oh, yeah. and like candy and maple syrup. Like, makes you want to gag. Like, ugh. <laughs> and he makes him that dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Or and then he goes to like the toy place and there's like a meeting and there's a a short person there. Oh yeah. <laughs> a what? I'm a just midget. Just... <laughs> and he goes, he said, oh, oh, an elf. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, little guy? An angry little elf, isn't he? What are you doing here? Aren't oh. you supposed to be at the North Pole? <laughs> said, oh, he must be a <laughs> Say it one more time. <laughs> must be a South what? Pole. Elf, <laughs> dude, that is so. Oh, so yeah, that seems yeah. awesome. There's just a lot of watch out for the yellow ones; they don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's so awesome. good. And so Zoe, Zoe's like, really good in that movie too. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of good. Dude, yep. when the, he that one guy, the the manager is hilarious. Oh, but he just straight up recruits <laughs> Elf. I know. Like he's just walking through. So he's like, get get over here. Yeah. And he's like, mm-hmm. and he like walks over. There, he's like, get upstairs. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and he's like, and he, they get up there. And he's like, and Santa's coming to town. He's like, Santa, Santa, Santa. <laughs> oh, what's the chick in the, that movie? Yeah, Zoe. Yeah, Zoe, Zoe Deschanel. Deschanel. And she's in the shower, like oh, taking a shower dude. and singing. singing. And he like walks in. He starts singing the other line. And she doesn't really fake anything about it. Then all of a sudden she's like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> and he's like, ah. <laughs> Say, hey, you, come over here. What were you doing in the woman's bathroom? Oh, yeah, she does. So Dude, funny. but he sleeps at the front window when his dad's walking by. And he's just like, the dad just looks at him. He's like, dad. Yeah. Like at the window. <laughs> he's like a puppy oh. in a puppy store. Dude, oh but he gosh. lights that place up with all the Christmas decorations. The like Legos, they walk in and everything. Oh, yeah. The manager is oh. just like. Like oh. who did this? Corporate was here. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> they got in for my job. <laughs> oh 
You did that oh, place right dude, though. That's hilarious. Yep. So that's that's my three. Greg? That was a good one, man. Oh man, I dig it. My number three is gonna be Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Going OG on that one. Yeah. I like them all. I grew up on the black and white version, but it's just uh, it's the same story, but I just think it's the the coolest movie because this shit mom that runs the Macy's Day Parade is telling, you know, the little kid that there's no Santa, yada, yada, yada. And it's like, dude, you don't have to grow up so fast. Believe me, there's enough things in the world that are going to like, you know, ruin your dreams and all these other things that will happen in time. <laughs> uh, you could just tell the kid that, you know, Santa's real, make a Christmas list, yada, yada, yada. But instead, this little kid is super smart and is just, you know, um, just questioning everything. But I love when the girl is just uh, her, uh, the daughter of the mom is just seeing all of these things go down where they hire this Santa Claus from the parade. And it's uh-huh. like playing Santa Claus and the Santa Claus is speaking all these different languages, is doing <laughs> sign language. The sign language one was mm-hmm. rad because mm-hmm. it's like you can't. That's something completely different. And it's just having a full on conversation with this kid that's deaf right. where the mom is like, like, it's OK. She just wanted to sit in your lap. Um, you know, right. she, she can't hear anything. Yep. And he said, I'm, 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 I'm Santa I'm Claus. Gangsta. I'm Santa Claus. I can do everything. <laughs> Sign language is nothing. I deliver presents to <laughs> billions of houses every uh, day in a year. I don't know when Santa One Claus day. describes how One he day. does that. It's always like kind of weird. Yeah. But there's like movies where he's like, Oh, well I like slow down time. And you know, the chimneys just make them appear. That was one from Santa Claus, but like all these really weird things, but miracle mm-hmm. on 34th street. I think that was a, a really sweet flick. And I always yeah, like the movies cool. that take place uh, like in New York. I feel like Christmas in yeah. New York is just kind of a, a special thing. Man, you guys are coming up with like funny movies. I feel like mine are a little <laughs> bit know, more. Like, uh, we got a soft side of Greg today. All his, I know, all his, but, fan, his soft movies that he grew up on. But I, I like the Matilda version of that one. That's a good. Matilda plays that the newest version, right? Dude, that's so funny you said that because that's how I ex- like talked uh, my oldest daughter into watching that movie. <laughs> Did you? She's like, because no, of Matilda? Like, I ain't watching any of these <laughs> movies that you watch. You watch like weird movies <laughs> um but i was like matilda's in it like little matilda yeah like little matilda okay yeah uh, i respect well that. she only watched like a little bit of it. she's like i'm not <laughs> i didn't even think about it but she stopped watching it when like the little girl didn't like turn into the girl that is like no this is santa claus oh so I'm like, yeah shit <laughs> i'm like hopefully she doesn't think that i don't know my daughters are smart like i feel like they actually don't believe in it but they're just like <laughs> This is this is more for Let's mom. Go along this with is it. more for mom Let's and go dad. Go along with it. I feel like they want us to believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. And if that is true, keep it up. Keep it up. Like I want you to believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Wait, wait a minute. Have you guys seen Miracle on 34th Street? Yes. Yeah. Matilda said the Matilda one. Is that all you got? That's all I got, man. I don't... <laughs> because sorry. she's on the cover. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, the one with I mean, Santa I like, Claus. I like the movie. I, just I like don't, that I don't they get a whole lot they get it. the house at the end. And his cane is like in the house, and that's how they know it was him. Dude, do you remember the beginning of the movie, like the newer one? Mm, like no. Santa Claus is freaking getting drunk because he's teaching him how to mm. like whip the reindeer, which I thought that's was a right. little weird. That is weird. I was like, why you gotta whip the reindeer like that? <laughs> yeah, I remember. And then that he's now. just like, okay, get down, pops. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and he's like, hey, what are you doing? You're like, you can't be intoxicated around these kids. Blah 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 blah. Like, hey, you represent something very meaningful, being Santa Claus. <laughs> oh yeah, that, he does. Blah, blah, like he just goes, he's like, <laughs> he oh, goes get off on. But then he like moons him, <laughs> like his ass and crack. Is hanging out. I'm really? Like, what the they freak? show that? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's okay, awesome. now I remember why I ran and stopped watching. All right. <laughs> like, uh, no, no. <laughs> I, don't like Santa, I don't like this, Santa's Daddy. But <laughs> like, ooh, that's nasty, dude. Okay, so this is something I thought was kind of cool. Is that he had his own Santa suit, but they do all these like all this cool kind of video panning over like his actual suit when he's like putting it on for the first time. Mm. But shit is legit. He's got like oh, a yeah. legit Santa Claus gold ring, like his belt, you know, sash or what is that? What it yeah, is? Yeah, sash. sash? Okay. <laughs> I thought sash was like like when you win Miss 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 Congeniality. Yeah, that. Miss America. Um, yeah, wrong, mo- wrong Maybe movie. I know. <laughs> That's not a Christmas movie. Um, but yeah, but I was just like, damn. It's a belt. It's, it's a, a belt. belt. 
but it's legit like yeah, his boots, super legit like everything is straight up like made at the north pole it's all definitely it's, not a bad santa suit yeah it's it's <laughs> it's made for visiting billions of houses yes. that's for damn sure that's for sure um i'm moving on <laughs> all right number two number two all right my number two is the santa claus the original one with tim allen and the little boy man i love the santa claus dude it's classic. Oh, it's, it's very so good. good. And he falls I don't off even the know roof. Where to start with that, man. man. He falls off the roof. He's like, "Hey, what are you doing up there?" And he's like, <laughs> "Like, it was really that easy to kill Santa Claus?" The kid says, "Did you just kill Santa?" <laughs> he says something like, "No, he's taking a nap or something." Like, <laughs> the bro's such a clatter company. The bro's such a clatter. <laughs> How come, it, like, Tim Allen has to like do that, is, like, in yeah, everything? Shaggy, a bro such a clatter company. Anyway. That movie is awesome. I love it in the very beginning when he's like getting on, merging onto the freeway and nobody is on the freeway. Yep. And he's just like, I'm going to be late. It's like honking at people that aren't on the freeway. It's like, yeah, and that's not very ladylike. <laughs> yeah, I'm really going to be late. And he's just like on the freeway all by himself. Oh, he's making fun of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's pretending like he's not going to show up. It's so good. <laughs> and then like the head, who, who, whose head elf name is Bernard? Like I always thought that was a super weird. That dude. Like Bernard. You know how like, hard it is Bernard? for little kids to say Bernard? <laughs> I know. Like, really. I this remember my brother Felipe. trying to say Bernard. <laughs> I know. Having man. a really rough time with it. It's like, I think you should have come up with a little something everybody's, else. Everybody's like watching his kid play soccer and he's like wearing that sweatsuit. <laughs> <laughs> he's walking up in that oh. all gray sweatsuit and they're like, man, Scott, you put on a couple pounds. <laughs> and then the kid I starts. See you've sit- taken this Christmas thing a little. <laughs> Oh, dear. All the kids start sitting Ooh. on his lap at the park. I want for Christmas. I want to. Oh yeah! And <laughs> and they start like, lining up. Okay. <laughs> and there's like a big old line. I want a pony. <laughs> yep. Oh, dude, it's so awesome. All I Love wanted was a weenie whistle. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> weenie whistle. A weenie whistle. <laughs> a weenie and then whistle. Comes from down from the sky at the <laughs> yep. end as a present. <laughs> I feel like like your parents couldn't get you a Santa. weenie whistle. Like oh, your parents I know. suck. How, how, if they how get expensive was a weenie whistle? whistle. Can't no be wonder that you became a psychiatrist. <laughs> Can't be that much money, right? <laughs> He's like, yeah. He talks to people about their problems. He's like, yeah, and then he charges you for it. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that one of the lines? Yeah. That? yeah. <laughs> Oh he man! Says, I love when he like wakes. When he's, they had that like dinner at the Denny's or something, and he and her name's Judy. And then like later on, he wakes oh, up and he's yeah. like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait!" He's like, "That's the lady at the diner's name, Judy. That's it. That's what you remember." And he's like trying to like put oh. stuff together. Oh, Judy gave you pajamas. <laughs> Hello, Judy. <laughs> yeah, dude. But North Pole is legit. That's one of my favorite versions of what the North Pole looks like. Mm-hmm. Actually. Yeah. I actually really like, like the little pole comes up out of the ground and that's how it, like they know where to go. Oh yeah. 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 And the sleigh like has a cookie dispenser with the hot cocoa, hot cocoa Dang. machine. Um, hit- you know what? That's what this Airstream needs. That's I'm it. putting a cookie cocoa dispenser machine. and a hot cocoa machine. <laughs> Damn it. it. I don't know if it's that first movie, but he also has the hat, the Santa hat that has the microphone inside of it. I think yep. it might be. The, I don't know if it's the first one, but. That's the first one. Yeah, dude. That it's when dope. his mm. kid stays there yep. and he helps he him. Uh, he teaches him how to do it. Yeah. Did they break him out of prison with tinsel? with tinsel? I knew that stuff was sharp, but yeah, they used they it do. to cut the bolts right off the Oh, yeah, that's right. We are ELFS. ELFS. We are ELFS. They're like, they're like the Navy SEALs. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Trying oh, to be all fancy. These guys are I actually like the second movie, too. It's pretty cool for us to find a wife. That one's not that mm. bad. The third one's weird with Jack Frost and Yeah, whatever, that's kind of creepy. And he has like the, f- the weird Santa Clauses that look like toys. The yes. weird toy Santa Claus. Yeah. Yep. So that's weird. The original is so weird with it. The original is my favorite. <laughs> Do you remember the third one when he looks like a freaking oh, no, like toy no, no. and he's walking around like a one. Nur, nur, and he's like a... <laughs> Oh, Santa's yeah, a robot. I, think yeah. I do remember a little bit of that. Because <clears throat> what's his face one. is Jack Frost. Um, what's that guy? Weird guy, Martin Short. Mm. Martin Short plays Jack yep. Frost. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's the, yeah. Anyways, I like the first one though is, is my number two. Martin Short. Okay. Martin Short. I can't remember. I remember that name. That was good. That was Damn. Good. <laughs> That's pretty good. So my number two is. Uh, it's debated amongst people whether or not it's a Christmas movie. It's not. It's not a debated. It is debated because <laughs> there's a lot of people who don't think it is a Christmas movie. But Happy Gilmore. No. Die Hard. 
Mm-hmm. That's a Christmas mm-hmm. movie. Die definitely, Hard definitely is a Christmas, Christmas movie. movie. It is a Christmas definitely. movie. Definitely. And if you think that it's not a Christmas movie, you're wrong. I'm you're sorry. Wrong. Yeah. According to us, you were wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I think... Kyle's got a tattooed on him. Die Hard. Yeah, yeah it says it Die Hard Christmas. right across my stomach. Die Hard right is there. Christmas. Die Hard is Christmas. <laughs> I don't... I'm trying to think of like... There's a lot of... A lot of stuff in there. I don't know, but the dad from Family Matters is in it. Oh, really? He's Carl? the cop. Oh, yeah. He plays a cop in that movie, too? He's <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He plays a cop in that movie, oh, too. He but he's the cop that he's like that. talking to out that's there. Whole, that's right. He's like, you okay up there? And they're like walkie-talkie and back and forth. <laughs> oh, man. Now yeah. I'm trying to think of what I don't really his remember name any of those lines from Family movie. Matters. Is it Carl? His name is. That's what I was thinking. I think it's Carl. I think oh. it's Carl also. Yeah. I don't know. But I like it when they said... When he kills the, <laughs> is Urkel in Die Hard? Urkel, I like yeah, it. yeah, Urkel. You didn't know, Steve. <laughs> when he kills the first bad guy, and he set, writes a message on his like sweatshirt that says like "Ho ho ho!" Now I oh, have a that's machine right. gun. Oh, that's right. Sends him down to the first one. Hans Gruber. <laughs> that's the bad guy's name. Hans, Hans Gruber. Gruber. Dude, we're sharing that clip. No. <laughs> oh. If but, that's not Christmas, I don't know what is. It. It's definitely. I don't want to partake in it. <laughs> Yeah, it's Carl. Got it right. His real name is Reginald Vell Johnson. Reginald. Oh, Reg- thanks for the fact check. Reginald. Reginald. <laughs> Sounds but very. It's Carl and Isn't that a tool? Nice. Isn't that a tool company? Reginald, Reginald Fairfield. Rigid. 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 Yeah, Die Hard's definitely, definitely up there. Yes, and all of them seem to happen. All of the Die Hard movies happen around Christmas time. That's right. Yeah, that's so, true. They are wait Christmas a movie. minute. Wait, no, I'm totally wrong. I was going to say, <laughs> don't saws come out around Christmas, too? Like, no, that's that Halloween. Be Halloween. <laughs> wrong because holiday. it just so happens that Halloween is rather close to um, Christmas. <laughs> by well, some people think Jones. Halloween is the cutoff for, like, it goes from Halloween to, like, setting up Christmas decorations. And I do not like that. Because yeah. I love turkey. I think it's, and I, I know, I, le- I need the Thanksgiving food, man. The, I need the Thanksgiving. I need it. I don't know. I don't like setting up Christmas after the Halloween. How do you feel about people leaving up their Christmas lights up too long? All year? If I or can't like, see them and you don't turn them on, I don't care. You're lazy. But what? I don't care. <laughs> but you're because lazy. Because I can't see it and they don't turn them on, I'm fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like if so. they're like hidden so. in yeah. the gutter and like you don't turn them on. Except for around that's Christmas never how time, it is, though. that's yeah, okay. You, oh, it never it's is. Like the big, it's usually the big person. icicles. <laughs> yeah, stuff hanging everywhere. It's June. They leave the <laughs> it's... blow up Santa still waving. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, he's oh, a summer hilarious. snowman. Uh, <laughs> shit, cleaning he's frozen. pools in June, man. I it's man, Olaf. <laughs> you can be a winner yeah. for a split second. I'll take it. I know, man. We had a cold day in June. We'd all celebrate that. Yeah, oh, we for would. sure. <laughs> But Die Hard. Side yes, track. I love Die Hard. When is the official date? Is it after thanks like the day after Thanksgiving put up Christmas lights? Yeah, that's Black Friday. I think that's usually when I think after Black people Friday? think it. That day, that weekend, yeah. Because Thanksgiving on Thursday, Black Friday's Friday, obviously, and then that weekend. Mm-hmm. I think that's what it should be. But most people especially this year with COVID, like they all came up like right after Halloween. I think we just celebrated for like the whole time. Yeah. People need stuff to celebrate this year. Yes. Yeah, for most sure. definitely. So Greg, actually, uh, before I get into this, I was going to say, <clears throat> actually, me and my family have done something that haven't done since, man, I can't even remember when, since I was a kid, I think, but, you know, hopped in the truck and uh, drove around looking at Christmas lights. Yeah. And not as many around as I think there used to be, but um, definitely kind of poked into some different neighborhoods and saw some really cool lights. Oh, yeah. And uh, I forgot how much you know, fun that was. And yeah. like kids actually like really enjoyed it. Not like, like, Oh, this is whack. Like right. they were like, Oh, that's cool. Da, 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 da. Not asking for their iPads. Oh yeah. <laughs> this gotta, is whack. <laughs> yeah. Right. You got to go on the next door app and they have a map and everybody puts up they're like, they mark if they did their Christmas trees, they're like they did their Christmas lights on their house. Oh really? They mark it on the app. Like it's a, like a cheer map. It's on the left hand oh, side. That's pretty cool. You scroll down and you click it. And then you know, all the houses that did their, lights so you can go to like a neighborhood that has a lot of lights oh that's legit there's a neighborhood in mesa that's like that was on tv and a bunch of stuff i forget where exactly it is but it was on a great christmas light fight it was on tv i ain't messing with it (laughs) it's probably got a line well there's one it's like a whole block there's one over 
off of the 101 where it has the music that goes to the lights. So you pull up and turn Talking into it. You turn into a certain FM station mm-hmm. and it'll play the song and the lights move to the song and you can listen to it in your car. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. That's pretty cool. There's one I'm supposed to go to, I think a talking stick. You, yeah. The one you drive through. Illumination? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't, it might be that one. I don't know the details. They moved Illumination. I think it is that talking stick. But. Dude, that was... I remember mean, when Illumination was yeah, in the same parking lot as us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, their decal is still... I used to, I yeah, used like to ask them, I was like, so what do you do the rest of the year? Right. They're like, we tear it all apart and put it all back together. Yeah. I was like, really? He's like, we got to check all the bulbs. I was like, yeah. that See, sucks. the thing is, we make so much money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Around Christmas time, in one, we ain't got to do one shit one the rest half of the month. year. <laughs> Are you Anyways. hiring? Yeah. <laughs> you don't Just want kidding. that job. Yeah. All right. What's your number two? My number two is. Oh, maybe that should be for number one. Probably. Um, but I just love this movie a lot, but nowhere near is my number one. Uh, Christmas Vacation. Woo! Oh, you know, there's a lot of people. Love it. Oh, yeah. Love it. And it's even cooler because, you know, got the whole shitters full camper scene. Oh, shitters full. And we're uh, here in the Airstream. Yeah, we're here in the Airstream. Yeah. <laughs> there's no bathroom in here, though. <laughs> there is not. So we're not worrying about any shitter being full. <laughs> Good thing. That but, scene is so like the goo that's coming out of the hose. Oh, dude! <laughs> and, and him like smoking the cigarette, just the comedy in his underwear and a can of beer and a can of beer. <laughs> dude. And he just looks so gnarly, but then he just like gets all cleaned up. His hair's all slick back. What is that? De- uh, which Quaid is that? Uh, Quaid? No, oh, Dennis Quaid. Dennis Quaid. Yeah. yeah, but he just looks so gnarly with his freaking like typical like winter crazy hat on. What do you call those hats? You know what hat he was wearing with the little flappers on the side? Oh, the hunting hat with yeah, the ear yeah, flaps yeah. on it? Yeah. Yeah, he's rocking one of those, but then he goes in like, and he's just like, you know, for the Christmas party, he's got his hair slicked back. He's all dressed to the nines. Mm-hmm. But, dude, I freaking love when the family arrives and, like, it's just so overwhelming and Chevy Chase is like, yep, well, I'll be in the garage if you need me. And he just, like, <laughs> freaking checks out completely. And, yep. of course, you just see the unraveling of Christmas lights, which that is real shit. Yes, is real. I hate real. that part of anything that I've got to untangle. So what real you quick, do real is... Real quick, it's Randy Quaid, not Dennis. Randy, gotcha. Don't fix it. Fact, so you, check, fact check. Fact check. Go ahead. So you get the really <laughs> cheap ones. You put them up, and then you take them down. You throw them. You throw them away. <laughs> and you get new ones next year that aren't tangled. <laughs> That's how you But the it. new ones, sometimes if you get like icicles, they don't hang very well because they're all like coiled up. So you can mm, do what I do. What you do. Mm. So what I do you is pay someone I else actually, to do it. No. <laughs> I did that one year, but what I do now is shout out to um, Jimmy. I actually don't do anything. <laughs> don't do anything. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> yeah. I'm not super proud of that, but um yeah, that helps. <laughs> There's a box that says Christmas lights Dude. on it, and I just kind of walk by it. That whole scene when he like can't get the the house to turn on is the best, mm-hmm. and she like turns the light switch on, and then he just like, ah, and he like slams it together. Oh, and that it just is lights a beautiful up. moment. Oh man, I love that scene. You so just feel funny. so bad for Chevy though. I'm I just know. Like, Damn, <laughs> I know. Damn, dude. Damn. Oh, I can't. And his son's like, this. "Nice try, Dad." Like hits him on the shoulder and walks inside. <laughs> Poor guy. Give him oh, a win. Dude. This guy makes. What does he do for a living? He he like makes processed food like last longer. Yeah, man, I don't remember. I got that from Vegas Vacation because he's like, yeah, it tastes these cookies. Yeah, they're twenty years old, <laughs> <laughs> and like, and they're like spitting them out. He's like, he's like my patent or whatever the oh, hell he's that's working right, on. Right, that's right. He's like, I got my big bonus. <laughs> anyway. And he builds a swimming pool with that bonus. Yes. That is the. That's what they spend their money on. Dude, it's crazy it's how many movies come up where so is Envy. Yep. He's like, I want a bean shaped pool. Like he's super <laughs> That's still <right>. Ben Stiller <laughs> on his right. bean shaped pool until his like Jack Black makes the vapor rise. Yeah, that's uh, right. And uh, builds yeah. the pool. Oh, he balls out of control. Yeah. And he has to move across the street, but we're not going there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, dude, and then he has like that whole like fantasy scene where he's <laughs> oh watching and, the uh, chick. lost in the attic. Yeah. No, when and he's, he's like watching the chick in the pool. Remember, he's like oh, imagining the pool. when he's looking out the window. Yeah, he's looking out the window. He's like watching oh, that chick in the pool. Oh, dude. He's like, and then wife's like, look at it. <laughs> oh, good dude, one. Dude, one of my favorite scenes is the old man. I oh, said it yes. earlier, but he says, 
You couldn't hear a dump truck <laughs> driving through a nitroglycerin plant. That gets me every time. I saw it when I was a little kid and I died. And I think some asshole said, you don't know what he's talking about. I wish I could have said, neither do you. Right? You know what a nitroglycerin <laughs> yeah. plant is? I still don't. Yeah, we should c- probably his look cigar, that up. right, Kyle? Is a, oh, is yeah. His cigar's a He's beast. got that giant, it's like a foot long. <laughs> It's like an inch around, and he's like, and that's when he lights it. The Christmas tree lights up. We're talking about cigars, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I oh, am. Oh, so good. <laughs> Everybody yeah, knows. It's a good movie, man. There's so many lines in that. Yeah. And that was actually the sweater that I was going to get. Shitter's full. They had the oh. ugly sweater, and I didn't do it. It was that one, or it was going to be um, Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mike, that's right. Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson. On, on the front. But, <laughs> oh, dude, um, that's awesome. I went with this Christmas rapper. It was on sale. <laughs> Gangster rapper. Walmart. Gangster rapper. Okay. What did I say? Christmas rapper. How lame rapper. am I? Food Christmas rapper. rapper? So stupid. Sorry, I had to drop it's my okay. line. It's Santa Gangster Claus. Rapper. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number one. Number one. Ow! All right. I have to preface this because we try not we try not that. we try not to name the same movie. So I like your movie too. But my number one for this this conversation is Jingle All the Way. Man, Turbo Man, give me some Turtle Man in my life. It's Tur- Turbo, 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 Turbo Turtle Man. man. <laughs> I love Jingle All the Way. So many, so many funny lines in that movie, man. Like, oh, the kids when he's like, Where, "Where's your mom? Oh, she's outside petting Ted." And he's like petting because he, he made oh, the reindeer dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Phil Hartman oh, is such Phil a Hartman. dick in that movie. So funny, dude. The Balthazar moment when he kicks the head out the window. Like Balthazar. But, yeah. <laughs> and he says it like that too. <laughs> yes, he does. Balthazar. Balthazar. He's crying. <laughs> and then he gets like, dude, there's so many good ones. And he's like, gets his his van, <laughs> gets like Put up on blocks, and he and he's like downtown in that. In that, it's the same. Uh, we ate at that diner. Remember when we were in Minnesota? The diner that's Mickey's? in Mighty Ducks. Yeah, it's the same diner. Oh, you go really? all the way. Yeah, Mickey's or Bambox? Bambox. Our, I didn't even know that movie. Mickey's took place is in. the one that looks like a train car. Mickey's. Then. Okay. Yeah, you didn't go to Bambox. No, Mickey's is. Well, I went to Bambox before, but yeah, it doesn't have Mighty Ducks stuff anymore, which is stupid. Stupid. But that's bullshit. It is. <laughs> But yeah, it's the same. It's the same one for Mighty Ducks. Because remember, when we went. To, I went to the. There's like a big Jingle All the Way poster, like right by the bathroom, in that. Yeah, I don't know if you went. So to sidebar, I, didn't. So I actually bought a pair of rollerblades so I could roll a blade in a circle in front of Bam Box. Did you? Yeah, oh, I did. <laughs> just, so cool. just so I could. Did you buy a duck? Oh, I, d- I couldn't find a duck call, <laughs> but I was like, because I because I lived in Minnesota and I worked. Yeah. A block away from where that is, I actually ate there a lot. Oh, didn't we go there? And it's like, mm-hmm. yes, like, that's what I was saying. They had, they, 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 I went like to go show town. you the Mighty Ducks yep. like jersey on the wall because when I was there, the, the jersey was there forever. And then we went there, there's nothing there. But it's kind of stupid. Sad. It's gone downhill. Yeah, it's it's really ghetto. How but, can you do that? I mean, like, especially to... people must come from all over the world just to be in the presence <laughs> of that Mighty Ducks two roundup. Right, I'm telling you, <laughs> it's, it's a pe- perfect place to do it. I wouldn't go do that now, though. Someone would probably like knock you over and steal your rollerblades. Oh, Mighty Duck, Mighty Ducks actually. People are probably like, Christmas. "I'm over this shit." Yeah, Mighty Ducks. No more around, Mighty Ducks around here. Happens around Christmas too, because remember he takes her outside on the date, and they're looking at Christmas lights. So it does happen around Christmas. Oh, we could have got away with it. Could have got away with it, but that's I don't right. have anything. Anyways, make jingle all the way. Oh, jingle all the way. way. Him, Sinbad. The scenes with Sinbad are so funny, man. Like <laughs> the scene in the, in the radio station when they break the glass and then like the cops come and he's like got the package and he fakes it into the bomb and then that's actually a bomb. Like man, and he's like, "This is a sick world we're living in with sick people." Wow. There was actually a bomb. <laughs> Dude, that shit's crazy, man. You yeah, that was definitely you before can't. before two thousand one, but it was that scene that is shit. insane. <laughs> That but my favorite... sleeping in with everybody at the post office, but, but me. <laughs> <laughs> that movie came out in 1996. Fat oh, check, dude. That's crazy, dude. It's awesome. And that one of my favorite old? scenes is like when he goes. Well, they make fun. We make fun of him the whole time doing Turbo Man, but 
he goes <laughs> to the mall and they're they're giving away those bouncy balls and like they throw the balls in the air and he's like he got two and Sinbad's like and then the mom's like bite Sinbad's hand drops the ball and he goes chasing the ball down and then he gets like chases the girl all the way through the play place to get to the ball pit <laughs> and he's like look here little girl a shiny red ball you want to trade <laughs> with his and then, um, Arnold accent. Yeah, it's Arnold accent. And then he grabs her mouth because she shoves it in her mouth. And all the moms beat him with the their the, purses. Yeah. Oh, dude. That's so great. funny. It was the best. I love Jingle All the Way. I could name every line ever. But I That's won't. Good. So. He got two. He got two. <laughs> Your number one, Mr. Kyle. My number one is Home Alone. The first one, the original, not the second one. Very good, classic. The original. <laughs> I appreciate. I appreciate the second one. I like the first one just because I feel like it's the intro to the story. You get to know everybody. I really identify with him because I had a crappy older brother when I was that age. So it's like, oh, okay. And like the best, like one of the good lines in there is when he breaks into his brother's room and he's looking through all of his stuff. Because any younger brother that had an older brother knows that they were hoarding the good stuff. Yep. They're good toys. They're, you know, whatever it may be somewhere. And he breaks into it and he's looking around and there's a picture of his girlfriend. He's like, ugh. Buzz's girlfriend. Woof. <laughs> oh, classic. Just a classic line. And every time I see it's someone that kind of looks like that, I say it. <laughs> Woof. But I like his. What Excuse like, me, what did you say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, oh, just, just, watch, that just watch Home Alone. It's just watch You'll Home get Alone. It. It's a quote. <laughs> the best part is when he's like, oh. I have to be a man. I have to guard my house. Oh, yeah. And he draws out this elaborate plan. The blue of blueprint. Ropes. Yeah, yeah blueprint. it's like a blueprint <laughs> in the house. And he's got, like, all the booby traps labeled on it, like the ornaments under the window and then, like, the paint cans, like we were talking about. And he's got, like, his BB dun, dun, gun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Dude, so his dad probably was an architect. Like, how the hell did he get his hands? Yeah, maybe. Like, at this time, was was he really going to go to Michael's and get the blueprint paper? Or <laughs> True. go to, like, I think his dad. Yeah, like was a, some sort of building tall. type thing. Oh, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. definitely. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm not going to lie, though. Buzz had some cool shit in his he little box. Uh, oh, yeah, he had box. the snake. He had oh, the firecrackers. No, tarantula. tarantula. He had firecrackers. Fire firecrackers. firecrackers. In there. That's where the BB gun came in. The BB so gun. Leave it on the doorstep and get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, filthy. The Tommy animal. gun scene. Yep, I almost got a filthy animal sw- sweater. That's that was, I did too. Yeah, I saw it. it okay, too easy. riddle me this, because <laughs> I only think about this when I'm watching the movie. But is that black and white film he he's watching? Is that a real? I movie? googled it. I, yes, it, it, it is. Yes. It is not oh, a it real not. movie. What? It is made for the Home for Alone. Home Alone. Damn. Really? Yep. It is not a real movie. Wow. I they tried to out. find it. Because I wanted to find it. Because that movie is on the exist. verge of maybe being real, but yeah, kind of not. <laughs> it kind of not. It's not. Maybe Christmas. Kind of sad. Because I was gonna watch it. And a happy New Year. But it's a little. <laughs> but it's a little hardcore, right? It's super hardcore. I feel like it's just like an old gangster movie. Yeah, I, like I believe you. But my Tommy, Tommy gun, gun don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you to the count of what, 10, 5, I don't know, whatever he says. 3, three I think. 5, three. 4, 3, da! Yeah. <laughs> he dude, lights him up. Dude, her. Oh, Dave yeah. just kills this like <laughs> No, chick. that's in the second one. That's he kills the chick. One. First, yeah. one's oh, a dude. first one, he kills the guy. Yeah. It's because it's really awkward because they're like, I saw you smooching yeah. with her. That's right. <laughs> smooching with <laughs> Uh, names off all these people. He's like, who really was it? And then the last guy's name is like the old guy yeah, standing yeah, next to him. Yeah. No, 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 me, no. <laughs> Said, was he like Gimpy with a bum knee or like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Al or Mo? He's like, no, oh, no. Yeah, it does. Which is so weird. It's like, bro, we know you're not the yeah. only one named freaking right. Mike in the whole world. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty good. good. But dude, number one is so good. And oh man, so good. I forgot I talked about that um, when I said number two. I can't <laughs> get okay, over it, that guy who's like because he <laughs> sees he sees Kevin in church and he's like, people just don't like me. I'm like, bro, yeah, stop rolling up on fools and smacking your hand <laughs> yeah, on your counters bloody, your with your bloody hand. ass hands. He's the s- <laughs> snow shovel killer or whatever. Oh, oh for dude. sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
the dead bodies are in his salt. You're not only and he yeah. sprinkles yeah. them around yeah. town. Yeah. Maybe he's just trying to be nice. <laughs> like you can't walk around looking like somebody from Duck Dynasty in that like trench coat, looking like somebody yeah, from I know what no, you did last summer. For sure. Like you're Ooh, up to no good. good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But we haven't talked enough about the the wet bandits. I know, man. Dude, the wet bandits are pretty good. Joe Pesci. That, but I'm telling so you, if good. someone flooded my house like that, I'll lose my business. Hell yeah, that's an asshole move. Dude, my favorite. Like, Steal he... my stuff. That's okay. You flood my house. I know, right? Oh, it's <laughs> ruined. When Marv like gets electrocuted and he's like. Hey, <laughs> 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 But he's like, <laughs> and he's like, he turns into like the skeleton. He turns into the skeleton. That's the second one. <laughs> I know. I, it's, it's all right. Anytime that they're getting beat up. Oh man. My thought was, okay, this is I second to one. Reference it the second. This one. this is second movie, where he gets hit in the head with the bricks. Oh yes. Like I uh, know. Like five no times. Way. No way. From like yeah. the third story. Yeah. The bricks like, are rough. First one dead. I'm sorry. You're not getting knocked out. It was like the corner of the brick right in the forehead. Are we talking about the fact that <laughs> the bricks didn't kill you or that somebody's aim is that good? Yeah. Well, I, that's I, like those those guys on the YouTube channel that are throwing frisbees oh, yeah, off of a sure. freaking Empire State Building into a basketball I think both. court. One, I don't think you could survive more than no. one hit of that. Or the that, fact that he didn't all. move. Hell no. Like, yeah, why the, the hell did you not move? <laughs> Oh, I'm gone. Like, and you can hear the sound go when he oh. throws it. Like, you can hear <laughs> no, it spitting through the air. I know. <laughs> you got any more, kid? Nope, that's it. I know. <laughs> oh, don't they climb up the rope? Oh, so that is number good. two. They climb kerosene. down the rope. What's that? Down. It's kerosene, <laughs> idiot. Yeah. You should, why would, why would anybody dip so so kerosene? <laughs> <laughs> this is why. <laughs> Oh, the dude. fact that they fall into all that varnish and don't immediately explode. Oh, for sure. Because of all the fire and varnish, varnish is flammable oh, yeah. like what? That would have lit them up. That would have lit them up. You know what I'm thinking about is when, uh, not Joe Pesci, but the other guy steps on the nail. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's still Because he's covered in tar and then oh. he puts the nails on the, oh no. So, he also falls three stories. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> After yeah. he got hit in the head with bricks. <laughs> yeah. He got it the worst. Yeah, he's the worst. Oh, he really did. For <laughs> sure. Because he like he like gets his oh, head uh, Joe Pesci gets his head caught on fire and he like somehow this little chubby dude does a freaking handstand in the snow. Oh yeah. And he's just like <laughs> pops himself. Like I feel like they just put in a gymnast real quick and it was trench coat. They had to, because oh, in the second movie to. he does a handstand too. Yeah, they had while to. his head's on fire. That's right. Puts it in the snow. No, oh. in the second one, he puts it in the toilet. Oh, the filled toilet. With kerosene. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, this is, guy's dead. That kid is good. <laughs> this guy has committed murder multiple yeah. times. The first one, he's got the hand. The, he puts his hand on the M. Yeah, it, that's oh. where he gets it. But you see it in the yeah, second the movie. Second one, you he see shows the M. The, yep, the scar. He's like, like he hi. Just, I like how he just knows it's going to open, though, because you can tell. I know. I know, I'm so just gonna, funny. I'm just gonna twist this doorknob and yeah! <laughs> Horrible. He just oh, had it though man. when he had his head burned, dude. He, where are you, you little creep? <laughs> you little creep. <laughs> I can't even watch that movie anymore without thinking you telling or thinking that I look like Joe Pesci when I wear my <laughs> you when I wear my black like beanie. You do, dude. Hey, you look like Joe Pesci from Home Alone with that black beanie. <laughs> Thanks. You have a good day as well. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Just going for that whole, you know, Joe Pesci and uh, it's like, totally, why can't I look like totally Joe true, Pesci though. and because, Goodfellas? It's because you wear it like, like he does above his like ears or whatever. Oh, it's dude, the way you wear so that beanie. Funny. I know. <laughs> oh, Home Alones. We had to get them both on the lists. We did. Good. Huh? Number one, Greg, Greg Viafania. <sighs> the best of all time. It's a Wonderful Life. Jamie Stewart. By far. The greatest Christmas movie of all time. And to be honest, I think it's probably one of my favorite movies, period, of all time. And it's something that not only watch it during Christmas, but even during the summer. It doesn't even matter. When you need a reality check mm -hmm. on that money isn't everything and that you as a person are valuable, yeah. that is a phenomenal movie that Super I've never good. seen anybody 
you know, make that point where it's like, let's take a look at what life is like for everybody without yep. you in it so that you can see how valuable you really are. Yep. And that movie, it just, man, it's, uh, it's wonderful. It is wonderful. <laughs> Dude, in that painting, so legit. So legit. Buffalo girl, won't you come, come out tonight? tonight? Won't you come, come out tonight? tonight? So, speaking of pools. Speaking yes! of pools. The dude, best I, That pool is probably scene. the best pool scene. And that's like, a real here. pool, too, right? That is a real pool. It does exist. I, I recollect. Yeah. Yes, that is a real pool. <laughs> so, for anybody that hasn't seen it, you got to check it out. But there's a scene where... Uh, the guy wants to dance with this girl, but doesn't get it because Jimmy swoops in and he dances with her and he goes and pouts about it. And some other dude comes up and he said, oh, Jimmy, steal your girl, blah, blah, blah. He says, I just so happen to have a key that spreads <laughs> open this floor That's right. and it turns into a swimming pool. And he's like, what do you think? And he's like, I'm thinking, yeah, turn the key and let's turn this bitch into a pool yep. and have him fall into it. And everybody stops dancing except Jimmy. It's one of the coolest the other scenes chick. ever. And yeah, they're just dancing the their butt off with his and, legs and stuff. Oh man! But I love that they all participate. Yep. Like they fall in, and then everybody, everybody just, just jumps, jumps in. into the pool. <laughs> and dude, it's dude, it's good. It's man. just a, such a it's good a, movie. Like, <laughs> dude, there's so many good parts in that movie too, man. Dude, so, but that's like Mr. Crazy. Potter. Oh yeah, Mr. Potter's crazy. That angel was like always uh, Terrence. Terrence. Yeah, he's always so weird. Yeah. Like he says his name weird, Jimmy Stewart, too. I'll Terch! Have, Terch! I'll Terch! 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 Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas to you in jail! <laughs> Mr. Potter. Oh, Mr. Potter. Oh, it's so funny. Merry Christmas to my brother, the richest man in town. <laughs> Dude, the, fa- the whole, like, uh, town comes together and I they're know. just pitching Super in money cool. um, because his dumbass... Brother-in-law or uncle or whatever, freaking lost all the loot. No, so he gave the money to Mr. Potter. No, he puts the money down at the bank because he's supposed to make a deposit. And Potter is like rolling in his wheelchair and swoops that shit up. I'm like, dude, it's in the newspaper. Yeah, Yeah. I'm like, you are you are a nasty old man, nasty man, man. dude. That dude is so (laughs) nasty. Every time a bell rings. Uh, no, every t- my teacher gets, says every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. That's right. That's, That's right, right, honey. That's right, honey. That's right. Where to go, Terrence? Where to go, Bud? Where to go, Terrence? Where to go, Terrence? You say Rosebud? <laughs> Dude, Is that a Citizen chews. Kane reference. Dude, oh. he gets his ass <laughs> whooped though in that bar. Oh yeah, he does. <laughs> Bailey, George Bailey. George Bailey. <laughs> yeah, this is Mr. George Bailey right here. Like, <laughs> boom. Yeah, he nails him out the door. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many times my wife has to take care of your bullshit kids, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, damn. That <laughs> fool got thrown out. I'm like, damn, George must be a regular over here. Because, yeah. But that is a so good, phenomenal man. movie. I could so I could good. do a whole hour on that movie all by itself. but For sure. Um, I definitely the can't, best. Can't, can't do that. <laughs> um, Speaking of Home Alone, real quick, Home Alone 3, there is one of the booby traps is a pool. Yes. And he goes through the trampoline into the pool in Home Alone 3. We're not, we won't, I won't put that on the top lists, but... Yes. It's it, should be called, top... it should be called a different movie because it's actually a pretty decent movie. But in Home Alone 3, There's he falls through the trampoline, frozen trampoline into the pool. Correct. Yes. Ooh-hoo. Is that a trampoline? Yes. Or is it just a pool cover? No, it's a trampoline. He oh, moves he moves it over. over. So he jumps from the window. To, he thinks it's a trampoline. Yeah, you're right. But it's covered in snow. You're right. All right, man. That was our favorite Christmas movies. That's the heart of the episode, the meat of it. But we want to touch base on some other stuff, just kind of wrap up the Christmas episode. But, you know, we love movies. So we quote to each other all the time. It's our personalities. It's who we are. So now you just got a taste of that. Pentair has a plan to keep your pool sparkling clean. To do that, they recommend using three layers for optimal sanitization. Layer one. Help kill the germs in the water by adding chlorine or a salt system. Layer 2. Neutralize the germs with UV light. Because the UV light plus salt or chlorine neutralizes harmful bacteria. And Layer 3. Automate your system with a water chemistry controller to monitor and adjust pH and sanitizer levels automatically. So to recap, Layer 1. Chlorine or salt. Layer 2. UV light. Layer 3. Manage with automation. All three layers equal a happy, clean pool. To learn more on what Pentair has to offer, visit Pentair.com or click the link below. All right, let's move on to the next question. 
Next question is, what is your best and your worst Christmas gift you ever received? Easy. All right, Greg, what, what you got? I want to tell you right now. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> um, so I really, really wanted this Chrome GT Dyno VFR. And anybody that's around 34 years old understands exactly what I'm talking about. I know you know what's up, Kyle. <laughs> yep. I it was either one. the GT Dyno VFR, and if you're one of the kids that could afford it, you got the Elf. I wasn't one of those kids, <laughs> um, but I, man, I wanted this bike so freaking bad. And I just remember, um, Christmas day happening. I mean, I didn't even, you know, remember the, when you really wanted something, you could not get a wink of sleep. Mm -mm. And I remember, um, just going out there and opening presents and it was like socks. I got a belt, like nothing like special <laughs> at all. Um, and I remember my, uh, I lived with my dad at the time and my stepmom and just like, yeah, I'm like, did you get everything you wanted? I was like, yeah, pretty, um, pretty uh, good. <laughs> Trying to play it off. Got some <clears throat> warm socks for school and stuff. It's Vegas, so it's not, it doesn't really get that cold. <laughs> but yeah, very good. He's like, oh, what, something over there, like over there by the table. I don't know, something over there. And sure enough, dude, it was like the scene when, dude, it was exactly the way it was on Leave it to Beaver, the movie. When it's like, yeah, what else could a kid ask for? And they roll out, uh, Wally w wheels out mm -hmm. his GT bike. Yep. Same thing happened to me. And I saw that and there was like a pack of pegs next to it. And Ooh, I, dude, I was so about neat. to cry, dude. Sure. I was, I was, <laughs> dude, I was so happy. And I mean, I took care of this shit too, man. I mean, I was always cleaning it. Yeah. It was definitely not one of those bikes where you get to the spot and drop her down. No, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely didn't have a kickstand. I was not a kickstand kind of guy, but this, it needed a spot. If Greg was coming to your house, it needs a parking spot <laughs> for the GT Dino VFR. <laughs> um, but That's man, awesome. never been so stoked. And that was by far my favorite Christmas present. Super cool. How about your worst? My worst? Probably every other present after that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> every other present. Really Never true. compared to that one. I don't know. I had an aunt um, that always used to give us um, kids books, like Weenie the Pooh books and stuff. <laughs> and I remember getting the same one at like 13, 14, 15 years old. The same and book? Like It was like different, but it was like a kid's <laughs> book. And I just remember being like... Get your shit together. Don't <laughs> send me a little kid book. This shit is getting old. Do you know how old I am? You know how I mean? You know how excited I get when I see wrapping paper? Yeah. Right. And I get let down that it's his damn Bernstein Bears. I got all the damn Bernstein Bear books. I don't need another one. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's I don't great. know. That's, 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 good. that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. All right, Kyle, what's yours? Favorite, uh, my your favorite. And worst. My favorite. Okay, so my best would be I had a similar situation as Greg where I got one Christmas, I was 13, and I opened a bunch of mediocre Christmas gifts. They weren't bad. I never want to say bad. My parents worked really hard, but they weren't what I wanted. Yeah. And then all of a sudden there was like a card on the Christmas tree, and it had my name on it, and I opened it. And it was like a- A weenie whistle? No, no weenie whistle. <laughs> no, sir. It was a riddle, and I had to solve the riddle oh. to find out where my present was, and it ended up being upstairs in the coat closet, mm. and it was my very first rifle. Ooh. It was a Marlin 22 bolt action with Ooh. a seven-round magazine, nice. and I remember just freaking out because I had just got into hunting. I'd gotten hunting with some family friends, and you can't really hunt with the 22. But you also can't really practice with a shotgun that much when you're that young or a big rifle. But I could go to the range and kind of shoot a 22. So that was that was the present. You that was the tomahawk down. Yeah. You got yourself a real gun. Well, we I weren't allowed like that's to. That's like a super big staple like for someone from Minnesota. Oh, uh, yeah. Where we grew up in how, California how when you get a shotgun. 13. It, it, ain't, <laughs> it ain't, that, it ain't that cool when you get a shotgun in California. You know what's really fun, though? Yourself. You do not get a shotgun. <laughs> all, my all my family friends. <laughs> the fam, like friends of the family, gave me ammunition for Christmas because oh, they yes. all knew about it. Yeah, so I had like boxes of twenty two shells for it. Yeah. I was so excited. That's so cool. I didn't get to keep it in my room. Stayed in my parents' closet, locked up. Blah blah. 
but I don't know why when safe. you said open up in the the Christmas card or whatever, like first thing I thought of was like getting a job application. <laughs> <laughs> like so congratulations! That, I know that you want that gun, <laughs> and I think that you can buy one. I think you just <laughs> need to get a job. You need to work. <laughs> I got a job into the, the next year. <laughs> That's awesome. um, my it's worst. Like, yeah, we're not buying you that Eclipse or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what was the car that you had? Oh, I have a couple. The the really fast one you tricked out. Uh, I had a couple of them. Uh, the, I had a neon SRT4. Oh, do you, you still want? have that? Yep, it's in the garage in Minnesota. Let's go get it. <laughs> I don't think I can drive it in Arizona. No, I think it's against the law. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. <laughs> okay, worst, into this. <laughs> <laughs> worst worst present. It's not so much the present that was bad. So there was a little f- fourth sight that didn't happen, and we all got our Christmas presents, and they were really awesome. And I got like this. It was like a a kit that you put together, and you can make like cars out of it and trucks, and it had like a little electric motor and da da da. No one bought batteries. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so there were no batteries to make anything work. And of course, it's Christmas Day back, you know. Just before Ain't nothing they open. stayed open. Before things yep. stayed open. Wasn't nothing open. Not gas stations, not anything. No nope. open on roll Christmas. Through a Starbucks and nope. pay somebody 20 bucks for nope. remote batteries or something. Nope. Nothing. So it Damn. I didn't even know Starbucks so existed back then. <laughs> we had all these toys that we really, uh, it was like, well, you still have the book we got you. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so gonna... I'm going to go break into the neighbor's house. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to go play outside. <laughs> okay, so I lied. I do know what my worst gift is. <laughs> and you guys know that I love uh, my wife's mom, Ruth, very much. But I got a road bike, you know, when I got my bike and I was just mm-hmm. super into it. Um, but she got me a bike calendar and she's really <laughs> and she i don't know if you guys remember this but she was I like remember. stoked to get me this oh, calendar so and i guess i open this and i'm flipping through <laughs> the, the months and it's like pink beach cruisers oh, and like bikes with like like <laughs> tassels hanging off the handlebars and i felt like oh, they man. were just like so excited and i must have like i just couldn't play it off like i was just like Man, I, <laughs> like you know, dude, that's and rough, like, dude. And like, I think the like, I was just like, yeah, it's it's cool. Um, I'm not really into these types of bikes <laughs> or these colors, like you know. And I dude, I could have so lied funny. about it, but even to this day, we still all laugh about yeah, it so much so because funny. it was just like, oh wow, look at these bicycles. <laughs> this is very very cute. That's crazy, dude. That's yeah. great. <laughs> All right, my favorite is has to be when I think I was 16 and got the Ford Bronco. Has to be oh, the best, far. the best Christmas present I ever got. Still one of the coolest vehicles. Tricked I've out, seen. tricked out Bronco, raised sweet tires, roll bar kit, bin bin top, stereo system, subwoofers, tricked out alarm. Man, that thing was bad, bad. So. Had the honor of wrecking that thing. Yeah, <clears throat> yep. Yeah, that, that that gave us a lot of a lot of fun throughout the time. But yeah, the Broncos the best Christmas present for sure. And then I can't um, wait to hear the worst. My worst. <laughs> I don't. I'm pretty uh, pretty blessed growing up. So we have some major Christmases. You've been a part of them. So you know, it's it, I get a lot of stuff which I'm very. Dude, th- I'm your very, parents are. I'm very off. thankful for. Even the st- like, I look forward to every <clears throat> single bit of Christmas. Everything from the presence of the food to the just the love and energy that's in yeah. the room. But the stockings, the stockings, are shit, the best. man. <laughs> you might. Who knows what? You don't know what's in that stocking, I know, man. Shit, I've gotten a pair of Beats by Dre in a stocking. <laughs> I'm know. like, damn. How yeah, did dude, you? The stockings are awesome. <laughs> it's like Santa's Christmas. It's like Santa's Christmas bag in there, man. I'm gonna sneak into your parents' house and hang my stocking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my mom. Kyle wants a stocking this year. <laughs> yeah, heard you like Starbucks, so I got you uh, five thousand dollars in a Starbucks <laughs> card. Like, damn, <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> you should get me through yeah. like six months. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very, 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 very blessed at Christmases. It's always been really cool. Very thankful for that. Um, actually, so it's kind of a. <laughs> so my aunt, same thing with my aunt, used to get me these like. 
man. So <laughs> growing up as a Christian, like there's like these cheesy Christmas sayings and cheesy Christmas shirts that get made that when you're like a teenager, you don't really like, but like all the moms and all the people like them. Right. So it's like, you know, I had like a baseball one that said like, Jesus is my home run hero or something oh, like, like, just like, oh, just like, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> just like stuff like that. And I, I don't want to mock, mock Jesus or anything, but like, I was like in my teenage yeah, but some years, stuff is I mean, my cheesy. teenage it doesn't years, have anything to do with that. <laughs> it's just some stuff is I mean, cheesy. my teenage years and like getting these like shirts. Plus like, I wasn't big back then, but like she never, never got the right sizes. Like I got like a medium when I was like, you know, 17. I'm like, yeah, I can even wear this if I wanted to. Like, to hey, why is it an apron? <laughs> Pretty much. This? So when I was younger, they, they I basically wore them as like pajama shirts, and then when I got older, they didn't fit me. So that kind of. Stuff. But yeah, those are always the kind of like, thanks, Auntie. Like, I appreciate that. But because I felt like it I got can't wear cooler these cheesy, with time, these like cheesy the, Christian like shirts. The Jesus is my homeboy. Jesus like, is my homeboy. Those are cooler than. They are. They used to be super bad, dude. Like super cheap. I can't remember any, very many of them, but. They were super cheesy, but anyway, so yeah, that's kind of should have every, got you every time. Uh, and it was like almost every, it was like almost every year, like the same, like just a different phrase and different. Like I felt I felt bad because she, pro- I, I think she thinks I like them, but they're cool. They're not. They were. Well, does she? They just weren't. They just weren't. I hope, to I hope not. <laughs> Love you, Aunt Valerie. If you do. <laughs> oh, that one. Oh, she definitely listens to this. But that's awesome. yeah. All right, let's move on. What is your favorite Christmas tradition? Greg, my favorite Christmas tradition, man, to be honest, I thought a lot about this one and I don't really, I don't know if I really have a favorite Christmas tradition cause you know, jumped around a lot, but I do know that I really enjoy Christmas time. Like I really love seeing the lights and especially during the pandemic and different things like that. I just love kind of, I love when there is like a holiday that just kind of takes us out of the norm and reality yeah. and right. just puts us in a different place. Like we're sitting right now in a motor home with Santa hats, ugly sweaters or the little Christmas tree in it. It just feels like really fun and really cool. And I just love the energy around it. And of course, you know, uh, having kids by far, there's nothing cooler than oh man, you work really hard for nothing your money cooler. and being able to get them the gifts that they want. Yep. Um, we're having to work really hard cause I feel like they're still young enough where their gifts are affordable. Right. It's when you get to be like, yeah, I want, um, earbuds and a MacBook pro. Like, yep. damn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I see. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I have that stuff, man. That's yeah. It's it like cheap. six, seven K right off the bat. <laughs> like, <laughs> did you get my Christmas list by accident? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, oh, and if you could, like a uh, iPad Pro, hell no. You'll be lucky if you get those AirPods. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's really cool, though. It's like, but I want it from Santa. Mm, Santa's not getting credit for that. <laughs> nope. That's me. He's He gets uh, stocking credit <laughs> when you get past like a certain age. <laughs> what about you, Kyle? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. There's a lot. Like growing up, my favorite one was my mom was super into the stockings. Like she would, that was her job, mm. like getting that prepared. So it was always, there was little gifts and candies and this and that and the other thing. Always, and it was like, they were long too. Like we always got like the stretchiest like one you could get. It was like knit, not like a... You know, like these ones right here, they, they just don't, they don't stretch. Like ours would stretch. And as you put presents in them, they just keep going oh, and man, going yeah, and yeah. going. Real stockings, like Krampus ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was, so that was always fun. But now that uh, I'm mar- I've been married for four years and I'm trying to figure out like a good Christmas thing that's, you know, just me and Anna. And uh, we just, uh, we have dogs. So we get them presents. We have no children yet so kids we just uh we wrap up bones and stuff for them Mm. and it's just kind of fun and we sit around in pjs all day and make some crazy feast we love cooking so i think everything's always centered around food at our house for a celebration so probably christmas yep minnesota yeah for sure. Yeah, coming from minnesota everything surrounded by something good my favorite parts about home home cooking (laughs) like Stick to your ribs. Mm. Good food. Yep. 
I would calm down on that mm. because let me get you some of that Swedish meatballs because that's mm. what I'm. Mm. Mm. That's mm. good. Mm. We're all getting a little bit, <laughs> getting a little peckish. That's my favorite part about being married to Minnesotans. Yep, a Minnesotan being part of the Minnesotan family. Yep. Very good cop. food. Love it. Yep, love it. My favorite goes way back, really, and still continues, which is really cool. So, like, there's in nativity scenes, there's a baby Jesus that's in the manger usually. So we used to take the baby Jesus out which, of the manger and bring it into the room. And we had to do this before we had Christmas, before we did Christmas presents. So it's kind of like a tradition of being thankful and grateful for what you have and appreciating the real reason for Christmas. And the baby sits kind of in the middle of the floor. We all sit around it and it's kind of like you would do prayer beforehand. So that's always been, I've been doing that since I was like, man, since like, like five and now we do it with our boys. So like, it's pretty, Really cool one that still continues, which I love. So that's that's a good one. That is My super favorite. cool. Sweet. I totally forgot the. You think, I, I really think you've been in like two of those, two or three of those. I have. Yeah. I, I remember like I, I don't, I wasn't really like warned about it. Yeah, probably not. Because <laughs> we, we had to like meet in your in my parents', parents room. room. Yeah. I'm like, so what's going on? Yeah. The Christmas tree ain't in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At first it could be a shock for sure, but it's cool to appreciate. You know, oh yeah, the stuff yeah, yeah, before, yeah, yeah. and it's always done before presents, so you get that part. You know, you get to appreciate that part, and then get your presents. So it's that's like, cool. Let's uh, pray that Greg doesn't try to do a backflip in yes. the living room. Yes, this Christmas and break his <laughs> neck. Um, good ones. Yeah. Good All right. Times. Favorite Christmas food. Go. So I saw this on here, and I don't know if I'm if it's the right phrase for this. But you know what I'm talking about. Mm. It's the, uh, was it puppy chow? Puppy chow. Oh, boy. <laughs> I haven't oh, had so it like I had back in Chex school. mix, oh, peanut yes. butter, chocolate, and Correct. powdered sugar. Correct. Just so Correct. everyone's. Correct. There's no other way of doing it. <laughs> no. I've seen ones There's where no they. no other way. That's it. It's it's the chocolate, the peanut butter on the rice check mi- checks mix. Correct. Don't try Don't to do some weird stuff. Do your Don't original just, mix. just rice checks mix. It's the crunchiest. Yes. And then you put the powdered sugar over top and you shake it up mm. and you mm. hand the bag mm. off. Mm. Dude, and you if, would so good. You would find me like at the bus stop, <laughs> like a bum, like oh, you know, just, with my <laughs> white all over your face, out, passed out at the bus stop. Just man, powdered just, sugar everywhere. Just, I just uh, OD'd on freaking puppy chow. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh my gosh, what happened? That's to him? awesome. He's you know not what? homeless. He's just. I don't know why he eats his puppy chow. Yet. You know what the worst part about the puppy chow is, though? You can't hide that he eats oh, it. Oh, no. No, no, you can't. No, no. One, is it powder everywhere, right? Yeah, for <laughs> Two, sure. Two, your breath smells yep. like peanut, peanut butter, butter and chocolate. chocolate. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows. Yep. I don't give a shit about Say, that. Where'd you put it? Where'd you put it? Right. But I had a trick for that, <laughs> and it's a trick that I've, you know. Uh, Are you sure you want to share it? Yeah, I do I because I feel mm-hmm. it is my duty <laughs> to pass it on. <laughs> <laughs> but I really would just get any kind of cup, and this would be a food cup, as I call it. Mm-hmm. And I would just put anything that has any type of residual um, mm-hmm. on your fingers. So even if you have, say, Doritos, you want to, you know, kind of scrunch them up and then pour it in the cup, and then you just drink your food. Mm-hmm. This is good too if you're trying to keep it's things like on the low key, like, oh, what yep. you drinking? Like, oh, just, you know, some that's sip, what I do with candy all the time. Yeah. Just use the box instead of. Yeah, yeah, but, but this is hidden. Instead of touching this your is hand. hidden, it so is no hidden. one knows. Nobody knows. Oh yeah. Sometimes I'll like put that. it in a shaker like... cup. Uh, <laughs> so you gotta mix it up. Your shaker cup, man. This dude had puppy chow in there, dude. I thought it was protein mix. <laughs> so damn, what kind of protein is this? this shit is delicious. <laughs> A new puppy chow flavor. Oh, oh it's that awesome. PC one thousand. Uh... Yes. <laughs> oh, so good. So yeah. So fine. um, puppy chow. Puppy bomb, chow for bomb, sure. Bomb. Kyle. Um. I like it. Yes. All the food. Yeah. Um. I think my favorite. Ah. Ludafisk. No, that's that's <laughs> disgusting. Okay. Yeah. If we so had to pick a worst food, we did. We would pick Ludafisk. I did try it. I did try it as well. It's, it's gross. It's yep. fish jello. Yes. It's no good. It's so bad. So bad. Um, Swedish tradition, by the way. Sweet, uh, yeah. You can Norwegian. Yeah, yeah, Norwegan, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yep. I'm Swedish. I probably, Swedish. I probably just got, got, eliminate, I probably just got eliminated from the family for saying Swedish. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Norwegian. But the meatballs are good. The meatballs are good. It's nasty. 
Um, but in our family, it all depended on where you were celebrating Christmas that year. Yeah. So sometimes it was at grandma's house and sometimes it was at our house. And at grandma's house, she made chicken noodle. It's just called chicken noodle. And it's handmade noodles that take like a day and a half to make. You make them the day before and they have to dry out overnight and into the next day. And they're like thick cut flour egg noodles. And then there's chicken and gravy. But the gravy in it, like the broth in it, turns into gravy because there's so much flour on the noodles that it turns into like a chicken noodle stew. Oh my. And then you made mm-hmm. fresh mashed mm-hmm. potatoes from okay. boiled okay. potatoes. And then you spooned it over the top of it. And then there was always mashed potatoes, chicken and noodle. Um, orange jello with a little mandarin oranges floating in it, <laughs> and a stack of white bread in the middle of the table, always, I don't know why, at grandma's house, and like green beans or something like that, but the chicken noodle was where it was at. So what it's in Norwegians awesome. uh, eat for dessert? Um, Rum chata. I, the, they do all sorts of stuff. They do like- uh, Rum ch- What? Rum chata. Rum no, chata? Called? No, no. rum groot. I'm sorry. Rum groot. Rum chata is alcohol. Oh, is alcohol. Not, like a not, mix not, between not, rum sorry. and horchata? Nope. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> that rum groot is like flour and water and sugar. It's like paste. It's basically a pudding, yeah. Like it's pudding. kind of a pudding-y thing. It's not that good. It's not very good. But they make these cookies, <laughs> though. Krumkaka. Krumkaka. That's pretty bomb. Yeah, krumkaka. But that's good. like from my wife's side. From my side, it was grandma made pecan pie. What are all of you? Are you... Some I of you am Norwegian or some are Swedish. Like what's no, the uh, they're all Norwegian on my wife's side, and we are Irish on our side. Yeah. So potatoes, meats, oh, potatoes. What's the other, oh, lefsas. Lefsas, or, or is, a potato is bread. Potato it, bread. Yeah. You put butter and sugar on. It looks like a. It looks like mm. a. It's bomb. Crepe. Yeah. It's made the same way, yeah. kind of like a crepe. Oh, crepe. 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 You put butter <laughs> and cinnamon sugar crepe. on it. <laughs> They're making those on Sunday, by the way. I know. I'm super stoked. I don't like. I don't. I don't like foreign food. Well, this is a little bit. Like this if, is a if things are like like if you gave me something, I was like, oh, that looks amazing, and there was like Greek letters or something next to it. <laughs> you wouldn't. Like, eat I wouldn't. <laughs> it's okay. That's so crazy. Like I like Greek yogurt. I'm like, I don't mess with it. Like, dude, it's just it's freaking it's, yogurt. It's yeah. got freaking strawberries and shit. You've done. I'm like, I'm not messing. With, I don't eat that shit. Okay, it's Greek. I don't like okay. it. That's but awesome. I don't know. It all, dude. It. Yeah, you're. But it, at my house, those things are bomb. Uh, mac and cheese was like a staple, mm. like but not at grandma's house. There wasn't mac and cheese there. Oh, is that but not at our American? house, mac and cheese. Is that not American? <sighs> it is American. Maybe it's American. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, well, so you're just tying in. Yeah. Well, these are their fa- the favorite the foods. favorite foods of Christmas. We have, a lot. we have a lot of family and we have a lot of food. Best part, man. Best, Best part. part, food. Mm. Christmas is still the meat, though. Is there might be a turkey? Meatballs, turkey, ham. Ham. You never know. I smoked two hams last I year. I like the pota- the cheesy potatoes. Yeah. Oh, au gratin potatoes. No, not the au gratin. It's like the the mashed potatoes of cheese on like low. Oh of yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's bomb too. Mm-hmm. Anyway, lots of good food. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I wonder I can't I'm get a hold of you guys right on now. Christmas. Yeah, no, you ain't getting a hold of us. <laughs> no, no, no. I pretty much wear sweatpants for about three yeah, months. Three, three days. Weeks, three. Yeah, three. <laughs> Three days to a week, <laughs> just sweatpants. It's just like your default Much email. Much leftovers. Yeah. Like, I will not be in the office due to wearing sweatpants. Of correct. Irish all, slash Norwegian food. All the carbs <laughs> ever. Yep. I love carbs. All right. Mine, mine's actually another dessert. I almost put desserts here because I figured you were probably going to have... I put food for you. Yes. But I knew mine was going to be dessert, and his probably was too. So mine is Heath Bar candy that oh my mom my. makes. And it's basically graham crackers with like some gooey caramel stuff, but like chocolate bars on top. But it's, dude, it's the best. I swear to God, your mom is crazy, dude. I'm like, dude, it's stop so, messing with me. Did so C's good. just drop off a bunch of? I know, it's dude, so everything. Good. Like that monkey bread. Oh yeah, and she makes. Oh man, I forgot oh, about monkey bread. Jeez, Louise, that's, that's a not good, a Christmas thing, dude. but it's kind of something. I just want to live in that stuff, man. Yeah, it's so good. I'm so glad yeah, she has a turn giant you into an addict. That giant island in their house. Yeah, it's full I'm of glad it's so big because it's always full of food. It's like, oh, we're having a thing. Go over there, the whole island. Full of yep. food. It's Super like Super Bowl party. Yes. Yeah, everything, man. But anyways, Heath Bar Candy, my that all-time monkey fave. Bird. 
Now she makes it. I mean, I make her make it like for Thanksgiving and Easter or whatever else we celebrate. Mm. But it used to be, used to be a too. Christmas. Heath Park candy. It, used to be it gets Christmas. divvied yeah, up in the in the Ziploc bag. Yep. Yep. Are uh, you coming to get your portion? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm here mm-hmm. to get that. Oh, <laughs> did you Did you talk about what Lois makes though? Oh, I forgot about that. She brought the it. caramel popcorn. I know she's gonna make it at my house. Sorry. Probably tonight. What caramel popcorn? Ooh. Mm, it's caramel like corn made out of puff puff corn, corn, so you don't get kernels stuck in your teeth. Yes, for sure, it's the best oh, homemade. That's pretty much what we get. So for, good. One of the things we get for Christmas. That's from what her we get for Christmas a whole from her. Giant Ziploc bag of puff corn. So good. I gotta share mine now. I like two anything. Boys. Popcorn. Name her make me no. do. It. Yeah, I she's know. gonna have to make. I have to get two. But I feel like my kids put me on blast with popcorn, like. Like, if anybody eats popcorn, I'm like, dude, my dad can eat a whole freaking handful in one, one bite. <laughs> like, you should see him in the movie theater. This is the only oh, place it happens. But dude. he can he can just paw a whole hand of popcorn <laughs> and sh- like, and it's every, he's not trying to be cool. He just, that's just what he does. Every bite dude, is a freaking awesome. handful of popcorn. <laughs> you know when you're just like eating and your kid just look at you like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> How did you get it to? It's such a nice fitting pack of uh, <laughs> sitting there just. It's like, dude, that's awesome. Like he could he could just throw his hands mm. into a chip bag, perfect stack right away. Just <laughs> yeah. nah, man. not Pringles. It's good. All right, move on. Moving on. All right, this one's a little bit more serious. So let's let's move on. So, what does Christmas mean to you? Yeah. So I think I said it kind of a little bit earlier but i think it's just a time where things change it's a really cool holiday got all the lights um families getting together and yeah it's just good times i like being around all the family and even when things aren't so good for you know that day that month or you know everything leading up to it feel like everything can kind of just be put on hold a little bit and can enjoy sort of the holidays together so yeah that's about Mm -hmm. it I think for me, um, growing up, Christmas was always a very, um, we went to church and we had Christmas Eve service and Mm -hmm. it was singing carols and just being together as a family and kind of not letting anything hinder the the good mood that was going on in the house because everybody was happy and there wasn't any fighting and it was, if there was, it was like, hey, it's Christmas. you can seems like everybody kept their shit together exactly exactly because it's christmas and we were just uh just being with family was just so important so it's always a um time of year that we try to reach out to my family is scattered all over so we try to reach out to everybody and say you know talk with talk with grandma and and talk to dad and mom and you know brothers and sisters that are all over and uh, now we have extended family that's all in one spot, so it's kind of nice. But uh, yeah, just kind of spending time together. Super cool, very right, cool. Yeah, for me, it's it's joy, laughter, love. It's you know, it's all that wrapped in one kind of package to me. And I think for some people, Thanksgiving or New Year's or whatever, are there times of like reflection? For me, it's Christmas. Like I feel like it's the time I most feel grateful for what I have. Um, I think it kind of goes back to when, when I was just out of high school, like when I was in master's commission and we, we actually went to an orphanage around Christmas time and delivered presents and like play with the kids and like some of that stuff. So it's very, uh, ever since then, I've been very grateful around that time for, for having, you know, both my parents, my brothers, my family and you and Megan and just my boys now and everything is to me is just I feel super fortunate and blessed like and that's always a reminder to me is like because they you know even just playing with them for 30 minutes like they didn't like even care much about the toys is like actually spending time with them and like you know that kind of like very small stuff so that's actually been a really big goal of mine in the future hopefully when we you know a little bit older and can do something after obviously after COVID I was actually gonna try and do something this year until COVID happened but <clears throat> I like to go back and do orphanage stuff I think and kind of just they like they really need a lot of like attention during that time and it's cool to see their faces light up and it makes you appreciate kind of what you have same with like soup kitchens idea I like that people you know doing that kind of stuff and retirement homes yeah retirement homes those things are it's always it's always a time of reflection for me so 
Yeah, that's cool. that's really cool because I think that people always need to understand that you usually have a lot more than most people. Mm-hmm. I think that's a problem with, um, you know, the world Society. is people are just not empathetic to others and not yeah. understanding that, you know, however you hurt, you hurt. But you have to understand that, man, you probably have it better than, you know, 90 percent of the people in this world. Um, we actually have some choices where, you know, there's a lot of countries out there that have no choice. They just have to do what they do or they don't know any better. But, yeah, I, I love everything you just said. It's yeah. good stuff. I try to teach my kids, you know, a lot because they're pretty spoiled in my opinion. And I I try to tell them all the time, like, you know, when they, talk, if they complain about food or complain about something, I'm like, do you know, like, in lots of places around the world, people have no food or they have this and that and, like, teaching them that perspective and try to remind them, like, you be grateful for what you have because it's pretty, you're pretty blessed compared to some other people for sure. Yeah. So it's been an awesome episode, man. I do think there's a ton of things for us to be grateful for. I know the same Thanksgiving, but we'll say that i um, so grateful. Um, you know, first and foremost, my family have got amazing mm-hmm. wife, girls, and I couldn't be more proud of them. And just, so thankful for the timing of getting into the swimming pool industry with brothers and then getting into pool chasers when podcasting is really blowing up and just how things worked out. You guys do a phenomenal job and I'm honored to, you know, (laughs) you're the co-host Ty and Kyle's ripping as producer and editing and all those things. And you guys just kill it week in, week out. And this is not an easy job. Um, The way that we do it is, you know, we are professionals and we are getting better and we are not stopping. And I'm just super grateful um, because I've been around the wrong circle before and that's not the case right now. Like everybody does their part and I'm just grateful that everybody's on the same page and just hustling super hard and not letting up and super excited for 2021. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think, you know, this year has been really challenging for, a lot of people and you know i think it's a instead of kind of thinking about what we can't do this season or what we can't be a part of or the things we can't you know because of covid like just try to remember the things that we really do have and be grateful for and just you know this industry among any industry is is booming which is a blessing it's it, you know, it was deemed essential in most places like there's a lot to be thankful for for owning a pool company or being a part of a pool company when a lot of people lost their jobs a lot of people are out in the streets and you know had to close businesses and we're here in an industry that's booming so it's pretty pretty cool to be a part of it and same thing i'm super grateful for both of you i think this (laughs) this has been a fun journey and like i'm looking forward to doing these for for years to come like these recollection fun episodes because i really enjoy it but thank you yeah for for just a really cool year and for all you guys do i'm super super blessed to be around you too oh yeah thank you so want to wrap it up just kind of say thank you to everybody for the for a great year we really appreciate you know the pool chasers community when like greg said our families our wives allowing us to do what we do we're super grateful for that it's it's a lot of work a lot of time away and without them we couldn't do it and so we want to thank everybody here like you guys said the listeners the patreon supporters we really appreciate all your support and every sponsor that's helped us out this year we're going to sponsor the show we truly appreciate it so grateful for you kyle grateful for you greg look forward to awesome 2021 cheers cheers boys cheers merry christmas to all to all a good night